Some of you might really enjoy this, something called synthetic division and the remainder theorem when doing long division. It's a lot shorter for some people and easier. So let's give it a shot and see if you like it. If I take this polynomial divided by x plus 2, you can use something called long division when there is an x plus or minus a number. Now you can't use long division, I mean synthetic division, if there's like 2x plus 2 or 5x minus 4 right here. But it has to be an x plus or minus a number. Then you can use something called synthetic division. So what you do is it's kind of weirdly set up, but you pick the opposite of this. And this is plus 2. You put negative 2. That's your divisor, kind of like kind of like a divisor. So negative 2, the opposite of this, goes right here. I put this little bracket. And then where these numbers came from are the values, the coefficients, of this polynomial. Now you understand, hopefully, this is x cubed, x squared. There is no x, and then 1. So you got x cubed. You got a 3 as a coefficient. You have, for the x squared, you got negative 4. There is no x, so it's 0x plus 1. So it's a lot like long division. These are the values. This is your divisor, except you change, again, the sign. And then here's the process to basically do this. You bring down the 3. All right, you just bring that one down. And then you go, OK, negative 2 times 3, you put it right there. Take the negative 2 times that, put it right here, and you add down. Then you go, okay, negative 2 times negative 10, put it right here, add down. Then you go negative 2 times 20, put it right there, add down. So, again, all you're doing is you bring this first one down, you take this number, multiply it, the result of multiplying those goes right here, add down, this times this, the result, add down, and so forth. It's a simple pattern. And then here's your answer. This is your x squared column, because, sorry, it goes 3x squared, x number, this is your remainder. It's a really quick way of doing it. You might enjoy it. It's called synthetic division, and it only works, again, when you have x plus or minus a number. Now, why did I know this is x squared? Well, I knew this was a 3x squared because it has three terms. This would be a number, an x, and x squared. If there are four things, it would be x a third, and so forth. So... Hopefully you like this. That is your remainder. This is the answer. A lot quicker for some of you. Now, remainder theorem is a cool way to check if your remainder is right. Or if the question just asks, what is the remainder? It's a quick way to find that. And here's the remainder theorem. Basically, all you do is you take this function. You take the opposite, which is negative 2, this, this number right here. So if you simply take negative 2 this, from here, plug it into the function. See this function? 3x cubed minus 4x squared plus 1. So I put negative 2 into the function. If you then do the math, so negative 2 to the third is negative 8. Negative 2 squared is 4. This times this is negative 24. Negative 16. This right here would be negative 40. Plus 1 is negative 39. Do you see how it matches the remainder? See how this matches the remainder over here? So if you ever just want to quickly find the remainder or check your work, if you simply plug in the opposite of this number into the function, it'll give you the remainder. It's pretty slick. Um, you might want to try that, and it'd be very useful.